Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I we are all fine. Rachit, how are you doing? Fantastic. Uh, tell us your story. I mean, how did all started? How did you manage to get into cycling and everything? Yes. Uh, initially, going back as a child, when I was about six, seven years old, I think I had limit. I had put this limitation perspective on my head. That okay, I have one hand and I cannot cycle. Like I want to cycle, and immediately my father, he. Uh, So I remember my father is like, no, you can cycle. Go ahead and cycle. It is possible. And he actually, I remember he taught me how to cycle, and that's where my cycling started. And I'm very thankful to my father because he actually gave me this op. Uh, you know, when I was in my ninth standard, and I wanted to go cycling to school, and my uh, my my school was about eight kilometers from my house. And back in those days, it was my father gave me this permission to go ahead. And but everybody around me was like, "Oh my God, you're one-handed, and how are you going to cycle? You're going to meet with an accident. Something can happen to you." But I'm very thankful that he gave me that opportunity to go ahead and explore, and he let me do this. And I started cycling back from then, and it's been and from then, then I stopped cycling around when I when I obviously got into college and all. I completely lost track of cycling. I became really fat after my surgery. Uh, in 2014, I had the surgery. Uh, I had cancer for the second time, so I had to. Uh, I became really fat after that, and my friends were like, "God, you're getting really fat. You need to do some adventure. You need to go out there and do some physical activity." And I bought my cycle again, okay. and yes, and then cycling started all back again. That was Lovely. in which year, Rajit? So this was in 2014. 2014. So yes. from 2014 and uh, 2019 that we are in, in five years you have done so much of cycling. In fact, last uh, last month only you guys did a 200 kilometer BRM. Yes. Right? Yes. And the next month, uh, next week only 300 yes. kilometer is coming up. Yes, 300 kilometer is coming up. And I want to share this. So mm-hmm. after my cancer mm-hmm. and the uh, ridiculous chemo that I had to go through. I really lost my stamina and everything. I mean, I could not even cycle five kilometers, and I would be out of breath. And I really, I got so upset that I, re- I threw my cycle. You know, I'm like, I'm not doing this. But I'm glad that I gave it more time. I gave it more this thing. I got my balances. I've learned how to balance myself. And it, you know, I just think that anything just needs to be given a lot of time. Mm-hmm. And once you give it time, and now, I mean, I can cycle two hundred kilometers. I've done Manali to Khardungla. I've done Nilgiri ride. I've done Pune to Bombay. Uh, so there's been a lot of expedition that keep coming up and we keep doing it so you know you just got to give things time and i think everything is anything is possible if you really want to do something so and which is the most memorable ride my move oh my god this ride was fun uh seen so many beautiful places while mm-hmm. cycling um my most memorable ride at the state of mind will be uh, i miss i really love the nilgiri ride that we did okay uh, which uh, in january this year in january this mm-hmm. year So, how how was the experience so it's amazing you're passing through jungles and forest uh, we saw signs where you know be careful there's going to be an elephant passing by mm-hmm. so that's just lovely to see and those beautiful tea plantations wow it was just bright is it better than manali khardungla it is sorry better than manali khardungla ride right? oh uh, no it's uh, a much easier much, much easier smaller ride right? right? mm-hmm. to manali to khardungla was like oh my god that was my first tough ride right? and that was when i just got in like it was just about like a year of cycling So, but it's a mm-hmm. very beautiful ride, and I'm going to do it twice this year, and I'm super excited about that. And in in fact, we are doing this live in uh, at the office of Adventures Beyond Barriers Foundation, right? Yes. And ABBF, ABBF is doing fantastic job. Uh, it's an in because their focus is now on inclusive sports, like yes. Yeah. So uh, as Divyan Shu, Divyan Shu Ganatra is there. Uh, I uh, mean, he's the founder of ABBF and everything. Uh, Divyan Shu is not here right now, so uh, I will do a, another live with Divyan Shu. one day sure. but uh, just one thing should i mention here that uh, divyan shu and abbf they are the pioneers and they took lots of lots of cyclists to manali to khardungla they took part in deccan cliffhanger yes. twice i think 2017 and 18 yes yeah and uh, yeah, yeah what is your plan of uh, such ultra cycling races like deccan cliffhanger or anything so yes i am planning to take part for the deccan cliffhanger race this year in november uh, okay. the dates are out and i'm go i've started preparing for it Mm-hmm. It's Pune to Goa race, and yes, the preparation has started. So we are on an athlete mode right now, following our diet and everything. Okay. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. And with water? Ah, no, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, we have. Uh, I have. Navneet is saying, "Great man, Navneet Kumar." Is hey, hi, Navneet. Yeah, carry on, please. Yeah. And okay. uh, training schedule. Yeah. Yes. 
and uh, this year we also planning to do i want to get i've already had the title of randineer because mm-hmm. i've completed the 200 km brm but i want to go ahead and uh, get, uh, get the uh, super randineer title okay. and that i will get it once i complete 200 km cycling 300 400 and, and 600, 600 km. right so I'm all planning to finish this off by October because yeah. I have to finish it off by October then I get the title. Mm-hmm. So yes, I'm really looking forward for that. So you, you, your focus is right now on uh, Super Rado Yes. Then in November Deccan Cliffhanger is coming November, out. And then November De- Deccan Cliffhanger, correct. And Deccan Cliffhanger you are again riding solo. Again I'm riding solo, yes. Wow. That's so nice. I mean, you are such an inspiration, Rachit. I'm seriously telling you. I mean, uh, I've never seen... Uh, obviously, I have seen many a rider like... In fact, Tinkesh is a fantastic rider. Tinkesh Kaushik. Yes, Tinkesh Kaushik. Yeah. Yes, he's Tinkesh a is a good friend of mine also. So, Tinkesh is a fantastic rider. And uh, yeah, obviously, Aditya. Aditya Mehta. Yes. Yeah, I should. Uh, so, what is your experience with Aditya? Oh, uh, it's been great. Uh, there's been uh, I had gone for their uh, ca- uh, for their training camp mm-hmm. uh, last year. I'm glad that they also they're providing a lot of opportunities for national and competitive sports to people with disability, and that's a very great platform. And I got to learn a lot over there as well when I had visited for the national training camp last year. Mm-hmm. And uh, amazing coaches. I got to learn horse riding. I got to learn cycling. And I got to learn about how swimming works and a lot of other sports, uh, national sports. It's okay. been, they're doing an amazing job as well. They're like really lovely with what they're doing. And they okay. are also really noble. So what other sports that you are excellent? Uh, Apart from cycling? Played, uh, I play table tennis. Okay. And I serve with one hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I like chess. I play a lot of chess. Okay. I love uh, swimming as well. I'm swimming nowadays a lot. Summer is really hot. Mm-hmm. So that's been my sports and my adv- and I'm go- uh, I do a lot of trekking as well. I, whenever I get an opportunity, go for hiking. Trekking. I go for hiking and trekking and do a little bit of grappling as well. Mm-hmm. So that's been my calling so far. So Always o- welcome for new opportunities. Yeah. So what new opportunity that you want to try your hands at? Like maybe skydiving. Skydiving. Yeah. Skydiving. Okay. Uh, I want to do Tinkesh did, uh, Tinkesh did uh, free fall in Nepal in Nepal a couple of yes. months back. bungee yeah, jumping bungee yes. jumping he did yeah. I really want to do something like that too I have oh, that wow. in my I, uh, I really manifest that <laughs> okay okay that's great and uh, so what would be what would be your this year focus I can understand that uh, super adonier and then to finish Deccan Cliffhanger so maybe five years down the line why do Rachit the cyclist wants to see himself Five years down the How, line. Five years down the line. I would want to do a, a tour to India. I want to go okay. cycling all over India. Mm-hmm. I want to like cycle uh, new routes. We're going to find out new routes. Adventures Beyond Barriers is going to bring in. We're going for a recce very soon. We're going to introduce a northeast route. Okay. We're going to start working on that. We've already introduced the Nilgiri ride last year. Right. Uh, we've also already introduced... Uh, we're doing Manali to Kaldungla anyway. This year we have mm-hmm. two batches. We've done... This will be our fifth batch. We've been doing that over three years now. Two batches? Yes, we're doing two batches this year. Okay. So we want... And I want to even go... If I get an opportunity, I would want to cycle even abroad and check places. I want to see new places. I want to be with my cycle everywhere and see explore new areas and new terrains and uh, more challenging routes uh, something more far more challenging than Manali to Khardungla where I should be like oh my god I need to prepare myself I need to push myself even more harder and it's all about pushing yourself okay as so, a cyclist yeah so you have pushed yourself uh, on, on the road uh, in races also in rides I mean like ultra rides so uh, do you consider yourself if you want to see the country you want to go on a go on a tour something like that cycling tour yes i like to go for cycling tours okay i want to uh, i mean which are not events as such yes mm-hmm. and uh, yes and uh, expeditions competitive events why not i really want to try that i really even want it, i want to take part for the national sports i okay. want to be a part of the paracycling team yeah, the paracycling team uh, last month they did fantastic in Tashkent. Yes. Yeah, yes. that Asian paracycling champion. In, in fact, uh, two or three from the BSF and CRPF guys they are also there. And Aditya Mehta, as I told you, as, as you know also because you also attended one of his camps. Yes. So yeah, national cycling is a fantastic thing. That CFI is also uh, they are quite supporting about this thing. And what else? What else do we want to explore on two wheels? On uh, on my two wheels. Um. What else can I explore on my two wheels? You have done so, Himalayas, you have yes. done Nilgiris, um, you have done Coast. And yes. What, what uh, and then I uh, we're going to do the Northeast now very soon. Yeah. And I want to get into uh, downhill cycling. 
Okay. I want to do some downhill mountain biking. Mount, uh, mountain biking. Mount, mountain yeah. biking. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go and try that. And I go a little bit out here. There are a few mountains here. Mm-hmm. I'm not supposed to be doing it, but I do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I always, uh, I always want to suggest safety as well. I never go alone. I always mm-hmm. have someone around with me. So in case if something happens, somebody's there to back me up. Right. And uh, yes, I love to. I would want to cycle downhills. I want to go cycling, and uh, I want to. I want to explore and whatever comes my way, I want to go ahead and grab that opportunity. So, so that way you want to beat cancer that way? I mean, you have already beaten cancer, beaten yeah. cancer right? Yeah. You have already done that. Yes. But, uh, but what, is your, what is your message for people who still live with cancer? So can they do that kind of cycling? Absolutely. Or exercise? Can. Yes. I would want to suggest all the people who actually must will, God forbid, if they're going to go in future for cancer or they're already going through chemo right now, please don't be hard on yourself. Just give it some time. Time heals everything. And you can come back to cycling. I've gone through two chemos and I can cycle now doing impossible things. So I think anybody can do it. You like you're planning 650 kilometer c- cycling. That Pune to Goa race, yes. Yeah. So that in, in 29 hours, I got to do that free. And I'll be doing it uh, solo. I might not do it as a relay or something. So okay. I'm, I would suggest anything is possible. And I want, we want to invite people, cancer survivors or a person with disability to please come to Adventures Beyond Barrier and come and be a part of our events. We have cycling, we have mountaineering, we have trekking, we have scuba diving, we have a lot of adventure sports. So please come and play and grow with us. And we want to build empathy. We want to, you know, we want to, this is our belief that, uh, that when you bring able bodies and person with disability together, you, you forget your differences. You want to celebrate your differences. You want to have humor on like, I laugh on me not having a hand. I, I right. crack jokes on it. I, I like laugh over it. Mm-hmm. Like uh, just something that comes up to my mind. If I ever get arrested, police can never have handcuff me because I have one hand. <laughs> 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 that's that's a fantastic spirit. I mean, you you have talked about your father, uh, who yes. has who has done a lot for you, like that inspiration figure. So yes. who are, who else are are your inspirational figures, so, personalities? So who? my I remember all my teachers mm-hmm. right from my school. Uh, my teachers that I've met over these years, uh, some of them, if I can name Anita G, Anita Sanas. Uh, she's been a teacher, uh, then Alina Nilofa from Bombay, and there are so many of them. I really have a lot of uh, gratitude and a lot of. Uh, I really want to thank them. They've changed. Uh, they've brought. They've taught us a lot of things. They've helped us to, you know, like shape up and design ourselves again. And it's been uh, a lot of teachers and uh, Divyanshu, who's got me into cycling, and he's always been there with me when I need him. I'm uh, just a call away. There are times I'm calling him at 3 o'clock in the night and I'm like, I'm stuck with this cycling problem and how do I do it? He's like, call me in the morning, we'll fix it and you don't stress over it. So there are a lot of people who helped me and I really want to thank each and every one of them from the bottom of my heart who helped me a lot. Okay, that's, that's, that's great. Even Chaitanya and Aram who've been, yeah, uh, and Aram. And Aram who've been our coaches for the... Chaitanya also came on my show in last December. Oh wow. Yeah, after, after nice. Dekan, we did a live with Chaitanya. They really help us a lot and mm-hmm. they're so dedicated. You know, we sometimes we feel guilty that we're calling them too many times, but they've always, always... Chaitanya is always available. Always for, available. For, and, for cyclists. Yeah. Yes, so we, and thanks to them, we were able to do this 200 kilometer and always there's been a lot of support from a lot of people. And what about your training schedule? May I ask like yes. 300 kilometers is coming up next week. Yes. So how are you training yourself? So every day I get up by about 6, 7 in the morning. Mm-hmm. I go for like a, a cycling ride. Uh, to a, I stay in IBM Konwa side. So we have this uh, Ka- Kanifnath uh, is right. the road that uphill. Bab Dev Ghat. Yeah. Bab Dev Ghat, correct. Mm-hmm. Bab Dev Ghat. Mm-hmm. So I take up more tougher terrains now. I try mm-hmm. to push myself. I try to go more fast and I'm uh, mm-hmm. been training, been, uh, I don't follow, I'm not yet got into a lot of proteins. I'm mm-hmm. trying to keep myself as natural and see if I really need to get towards protein, then I will. Mm-hmm. And uh, been pushing myself, cycling every day and yes. So how many kilometers that you are riding every day, more or less for the training schedule? So uh, I follow two kinds of strategy. If I'm doing a very simple ride, then I go for like a hundred kilometer ride. But if I want to like do a shorter ride, then I push myself and I have to put up a tougher ride for myself. Where it would be like a 50 kilometer of uphill only. Like I'll just go up the hill, up and down the path they've done, come mm-hmm. down and then go up again. And, and so from NIBM Kondua to here in Panchivati in Pashan, so yes. you come all the way on cycle? I cycle every day to work. 
Oh, wow. Promoting green as well. <laughs> wow. Go and green. you are wearing a green jersey. I can see the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so promoting green everywhere. Yes. <laughs> That's so nice. That's so nice, Rajiv. <laughs> and so what would be your message to people uh, with and without disabilities? How we can, how the society can uh, do more for inclusive sports? What should be your message? This is my last question. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I would want them to come and experience an event uh, okay. with us. We do trekking. Uh, you can. Uh, that's where you will learn about inclusion. You will learn how a person with disability work. Uh, you know how you need to behave with him or how you need to understand him. I keep constantly pushing out these messages. I personally experience this in my regular life where. Uh, you know, I'm going out somewhere, someone recognizes oh, this man does not have a hand and he quickly comes up to help me and does not even give me that option that do you want that help? You know, he just, it becomes like an obligated thing that I have to take it and I want to tell them that, you know, when you meet a disabled person, ask him if he wants your help rather than, you know, imposing or pushing your help out. I understand your perspective that mm. you, and please do not have any sympathy for any disabled person. He needs to be treated as equally as you are and you know you can have empathy but not sympathy and have right. it and bring and you know help them if they want your help and give them an opportunity to, to do things where they want to do something don't you know I, I, I we come across a lot of people with disability that they think okay just because I'm blind now I'm going to stay in my house now this is my life has come to an end no your life has not come to an end there's a lot more that you can do and please come and meet us and join us for events all over the world now our Manali to Karadumla has seven cyclists from Israel joining us Wow! and some of them are visually impaired as well so we're connecting with people we're trying to reach out to people all over the world and I'm so glad that there are a lot of inclusive tandem communities that are there we're communicating with them we're trying to promote them they're trying to promote us it's lovely and we're trying to pass this message that build empathy okay and everything is possible Yes, thanks Rachi. Thanks for the lovely brief chat, but it, it was a fantastic learning experience as well as an inspirational message that you are always out there to sensitize people with. Thank thanks, you. thanks Rachi. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Supratham. Thank, Thank you. Thanks.